Okay, library, anything in the library? Or? Yeah, what's going on in the library?
getting awfully, awfully wound up and pretty rammy. That uh, and has has apparently made it to the board that that this board's assigned to remove the librarian, and that it has to be done right now. And he's going to do it, you know, whenever, and he's going to do it effective immediately. And yeah. So, can you actually and, that and that he has directives that he is supposed to do it that way. Um, which, that can't fly. And we can't allow that. Now, I don't think she does a necessarily good job and probably shouldn't be the librarian. But, you've got to do it the right way. The whole board and, and, and I do believe the library board is, is attempting to stand up. And do that, but and it's still, it's a, you got to document everything. You got to, so you, like, you, you can't do that over a week. You got to do that over you know, a period of time. So I, you know, that that needs to be brought to the library board president. That you know, just being the library board president, you're not allowed to throw your weight around and try to intimidate the part of the library board and. Yeah, I, I I assume you need a, a at least a majority, probably a super majority, in order to remove the library. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. You know, so you're looking at at least a two thirds on on five on five votes. So you, you need four out of five in order to do that. Yeah, you know, I, I, if there were just being in, in business of hiring and firing. You really need to have uh, documentation for sure. her sign those that you <clears throat> asked her to make these corrections. <clears throat> and if she doesn't sign it, <clears throat> then if you have two people there that from the library board, I think you, you're in compliance and you can say, well, she refused to sign it. We went over that. <clears throat> and if you do that twice and she doesn't, or anybody, this is anybody, no matter who the person yeah. is, uh, the third time you get fired. But you have to try to make corrections at least twice. Mm -hmm. And make them aware of what they're doing. Well, and make and them I aware think they're in the process of, I think they went through an eval, and they went through a goal list. I, I believe they've gone through all that. And so, yeah, and then sure. it was a matter of, them not meeting for some time right. for two months, yeah. um, you know, and that kind of drops that ball sure. Sure. Or, or the momentum of all that kind of drops, and I think it's just. Well, and is there a sickness policy? And if there <coughs> isn't a sickness policy, I think there needs to be one. Um, really, with the librarian, um, I don't really even have an employee record of her or a wage agreement in any way for her or that would have been the responsibility of the, of and the she's, previous library and she's actually that, a city yeah. employee and I'm not sure why her wages are not lumped in with Bray and Doug and I in that pro I mean the library board could um, direct the council what they would like to see I'm not really sure exactly why that's completely separated. And <coughs> there's no contract that states she will be paid this salary. So I've just paid what has been paid since I was here. But um, she's officially a part-time employee, which would, under city personnel policy, would make her no sick time, no paid vacation. Yeah, just part-time, yeah. You know, and so when she wasn't here for the month of December, I still wrote the same payroll check. Because I'm not directed in any other way to do anything. So I'm well, just not really sure what to do. It's the library board's responsibility to put that policy in place and have it approved by us. That's what I was going to say. Could they, act, could they actually, quote, fire her without yeah. going through us? Yeah, no, they got to go through us. they got to go through us anyway. Yeah. If, if she's an employee of the city, yes. But I agree with what Vince just said, you know, and, and both men. You can't get too rambling about it. You gotta, you gotta do it the right way. Yeah. You know, you can't just because you're the president of the board say, guess what? 
you're done. I mean, you got well, it. Corey was for her originally. I That's think it's just emotion and a lot of heated discussions that has turned pretty. You know, I don't know. I just get most this. of my decisions were made emotionally. Most of my bad ones. Yeah, and I think <laughs> I think that he's just invested in it, and he really wants things good. Like I said, I don't hear them, but I hear it coming in afterwards. So. So, how are we as council persons going to supply said direction? You know, I think we need to have the president of the board come and, and uh, make a report. Okay. At least quarterly. That's a good idea. Maybe just some... You know, gives them, gives them the hint that we are the overseers. And, mm -hmm. It's kind of, um, if you meet with, like, Bonnie McEwen, she will say the library board is a different kind of a board because they're really not, they're governed under the city, but they really make their own decisions. Well, she's so going to have, maybe we start with her then have her come to a, a board meeting and tell us what the responsibilities of the board are and whether we can direct them in a way such that uh, the board is making the right steps to uh, make sure that policies are in place and those policies are being followed. Well, she was here at the first board meeting. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I might have to call him again. Bonnie was here. Uh, she yeah. met with the board. Yeah. Oh, Bonnie was here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. well, did that, the direction that she was giving them? <coughs> she really, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can look she, in our ordinance, and she was directing as an ordinance, but, um, you know, she was really just pushing because the library is just not doing yeah, library things. That. Yeah. And, you know, she was just trying to introduce some programs mm -hmm. that we could possibly participate in. And um, it was more in that direction. But, okay. I mean, I, I personally see a lot of work that needs to go into the policies and the yeah, direction. Since that time no, but time. she would come. <coughs> If you know, she said, you know, absorb what I've given you and um, call me back when you're ready to absorb more. You know, I guess I know for take for granted that it's probably a thankless job everybody gets on that library board, but you know, they're new at it, they're, they are all learning. They're going to need a little guidance from somebody and uh, on different things to go about. I mean, it's a new. New experience for all, I'm sure. Yeah, and you know. sometimes it can be difficult too if you don't Can't have a lot of support. Yeah, you were on the library board. I was for a short time, yes. You know, <coughs> there's procedures that need to be followed and follow, things that need to change, and they need to know how to go about all that. Well, it's something good, and I hate to see it go awry. Because I think we need the library. Oh, yeah. We've had oh, these yeah. two young girls here yeah, yeah. wanting to help out. And it's like, we need to keep it. We do. We need and to keep it. It's just running short of money. Just got just to gotta take the proper channels. In order right. things will, exactly. Things will work out. Just got to do it the right way. Exactly. Running short of money, you said. Just slowly but surely. Not in general. You know, as I was doing the budget, and I'm just like, there's just not as much money there. There's just, you know, in it, you know, we're paying for somebody who's not there as a city, as taxpayers. That's well, got to be That's, that's why I think we need this, this policy. If she's a part-time person, if she's not there, why do we pay her? Pay for the deductive hours. <coughs> yeah. The hours that she's supposed to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, she's well, going to yeah. have to be kind of held accountable for that. Idea, you know? Well, and I know it's a lot of work for a volunteer board to. Right. Oh, right. You know, I, yeah, yeah. 
But, you know, those are just some of the things. As I was going through the budget, I was thinking, we have to save money. We're just basically throwing money out in this sense. You know, we have to figure something out. Because I've, <coughs> I figured it, and we paid Sandy Schmidt for volunteer hours, and we also paid her wages on the same for the same day. Double pay. But like I said, I have no direction because I have nothing. Maybe she needs to sign a, a, a contract statement, you know, so we have it in writing mm -hmm. that she's a part-time employee. She doesn't get paid if she's not here, so it's in writing. Mm -hmm. That's the first step we need to take. Thank you. 